Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So what I'm going to be going over today is how to make natural branches reptile safe. Basically just disinfecting them and also making them water resistant. So if you put them in a high humidity enclosure, they don't mold. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Before we jump into it, I do want to mention a couple techniques that I actually didn't show in this video. Just because the branches that I'm doing are actually for my Brazilian rainbow boa. And they're a bit too big to use these techniques on, so I wasn't able to show that. But one of the things you can do is put them in a pot of water and boil them on the stove for like 10-ish minutes. That should kill any parasites or pesticides or just anything on them that could be harmful for your reptiles. The other thing you can do is put them on a baking sheet and bake them in the oven at about 400 degrees for about 20 minutes. Again, that'll kill any pesticides or parasites. But like I said, the branches I used were too big, so I wasn't able to use or show this technique either. The first thing I did was just break off any pointed or sharp edges just to prevent any injuries such as cutting herself or possibly poking herself. Again, just to prevent any possible injuries from happening. The next thing I did was rinse it off outside with a hose just to try to remove as much dirt or any potential insects as possible. After that, I actually took the branch inside and washed it off in the shower. I got the water as hot as I possibly could until it was steaming to help again kill any potential insects or pesticides that could possibly be on the branch. After that, I set it outside to let it fully dry before moving on to the next step. The next step is going to be treating them with a non-toxic weather-resistant stain. I use the Valspar brand. It works very well and I haven't had any problems with it. If you don't want your branches this dark, they do have other colors that you can choose from. But again, this is the brand I'm going to recommend because it has worked so well and holds up very, very well. So this is what they look like once they're done. I already have some branches like this that were done the exact same way in with one of my other reptiles. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what they look like once they're in an enclosure that is fully set up. So this is my children's python enclosure. Astrid is actually sitting up on top there just peeking out and saying hi. But either way, these branches were done the exact same way. And as you can see, they still look very natural and add a really nice look to an enclosure. But again, I just wanted to show you what they look like in a fully set up enclosure. And that wraps up today's video, so I hope you guys enjoyed it and that it helps you out. As always, make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also check out Reptile Rave on Instagram and give me a follow there. I do appreciate it. And with that being said, I will see you in the next video.